What's going on, guys? Welcome to the Craig Thomas Show, February 13th, 2021. The day before Valentine's Day, Valentine's Day Eve. Oh man, it's my first Valentine's Day single in quite a long time. Not gonna lie, I I think I've been in a relationship the last maybe four or five years on Valentine's Day. I don't know. First Valentine's Day single. It is what it is. What are you gonna do? You know, uh, a lot of people think Valentine's Day is overrated. They think it's just some bullshit holiday. I like it. I like Valentine's Day, man. I'm, I know this isn't being a man, you know, it's kind of frowned upon to say this, but I like Valentine's Day. I am just a hopeless romantic. I, I have this idea in my head that I'm going to have this fairy tale relationship and, you know, we're going to ride off into the sunset and it's just going to be this magical thing, lifelong thing. But, you know, like, The truth is, relationships take work. I mean, real relationships take work. Most people don't get that. I mean, a lot of people, I would say 80% of people don't understand that, that relationships take work. You know, lots of people run out of good connections and good relationships just at the first sign of an issue, you know? Like, relationships take work, man. Two different people getting together. So two separate individuals combining their life into one. That's crazy when you think about it. Two absolutely different people combining into a relationship, still being individuals, but sharing this life together. I mean, that just takes work. Like there is always going to be something you got to get over. And, and people don't like that. People, you know, myself included, like I, I'm a perfectionist. I think that it should just be perfect. I think that, like, emotionally, emotionally, I think it just should should be perfect. There shouldn't be any issues. You know, you ride off into the sunset. It's it's beautiful. It's lovey dovey. It's it's great. It's amazing. There's no issues, no fights. But honestly, man, you gotta work at it. You know, you know, you gotta make compromises. You got to you got to both be able to compromise. You got to be understanding and you got to be able to ride those waves. You know, every day when you wake up, it's got to be like, okay, you know, today is a new day and I'm going to make that effort. The second that effort's gone, the relationship's over. It might not happen right away, but it'll slowly deteriorate. And uh Yeah, man. I mean, I'm a fighter in a relationship, okay? I mean, most people aren't. That's just the fact. Most people run and it can be hard to be the fighter, you know? It can be hard to be the, the one who wants to fight and wants to make it work. And on the other hand, sometimes you can, if you are a fighter, you can fight for things that aren't right. And that's also not a good thing. Like, you can, you can really, in your mind, think you care about someone, think you love someone, and it's not working. And just because you have this in your mind that you got to fight, you got to make it work, sometimes you can fight for something that isn't right. And Unfortunately, I don't think I've really fought for anything that isn't right before, but it can happen, you know? And yeah, man, but Valentine's Day tomorrow. You guys got any plans? Any big plans? You taking your lady out for a nice dinner? It's a snowstorm right now. Uh, Victoria, BC here. I just looked out the window. It's uh, about 10 a.m. this morning here on Saturday, and it is a blizzard. I will not be driving. I do not have a 4 by 4 uh, the thing about where I live in Victoria is the roads, it does not snow often. I live in Canada, but it does not snow that often in the specific place in Canada where I live, Victoria, BC. But when it does snow, it's messy. It's real messy. People, people aren't used to it, right? So in other parts of Canada where it snows more and they're prepared, people understand how to drive in the snow. 
how to walk in the snow. The city has everything set up where it's cleared and it's iced and people can survive. In Victoria? Oh, no. Oh, it is not good. It is not good here. There is, you know, people are just doing 360s in an intersection. Like, oh, man, it's not fun. So usually what I do when it snows, I just take it easy. I hunker down. You know, if I need to go somewhere, I'll walk. Yeah, but driving in the snow in Victoria is not fun, unless you got the proper vehicle. I don't want to be that guy in that two-wheel drive Nissan, you know, spinning out an intersection, you know, sliding off, almost hitting a pedestrian. I do not want to be that guy, so I'm responsible. I'll just stay home. It's the weekend. What do I need to do? What do I have going on in this pandemic that I need to go driving in the snow in my two-wheel drive? Nothing. Nothing. I got nothing going on. Either do you. So stay home. Have some fun in the snow. Build a snowman. You know, I don't care. Like, go jump in the ditch like you're eight years old and pack up some snowballs and throw them at cars. You know, do something responsible. Okay? And uh, next week, next week, I got some... Ah, I don't know. I don't know what the percentage is, but it's looking very promising. We got a big guest coming on. We got a big, 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 big guest coming on. Uh, I don't know how I pulled it. I was lighting up Instagram. I was sending off DMs. Hey, you want to come on this podcast? It's up and coming. Yada yada yada. I switched it up a bit, saying, "Hey, do you want to come on my uh, podcast? You'll get lots of reaches and you know, a big audience." Little do they know. Little do they know. We're just a little guy. We just started out, but I can't tell you who it is yet because they've confirmed verbally. But until I get that, you know, episode recorded, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna announce it. But we get a big guest. For our third, fourth episode here, we got a guest. He's been on the Joe Rogan experience. I don't know how I pulled it. I don't know if it's real, but um I'll keep you guys posted on that because if we get him on, it's I don't care about the view. I don't, I'm doing this for fun. This is a hobby of mine. I love doing this. I love having conversations. But if we get this guest on, oh, man, it's going to be fun. I'm going to be nervous. I'm going to be so nervous. I'm already writing out questions and things I want to say. Like, usually I just spitball this. I'm just spitballing right now. I got nothing written down. Um, yeah, man. If we get this guest on, I tell you. Stay tuned. You know, tell your friends. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't um, because... It's going to be wild, man. It's going to be wild. I can't believe it. But yeah, you know, it's funny with Instagram now. Like you can just, you know, you can pretty much reach out to anyone. And if for whatever reason they see that message on their phone and they click on it and they accept it, then you have an open line of conversation with these people across the world, Um, real famous people, real just interesting people. Like Instagram's crazy. And I've never really been too big into like dm and random people but yeah we go we got in connection with a pretty big guest and you know i really hope it goes through i'm gonna be super bummed if he bails uh but he gave me his word and he's a pretty good guy i think so it's gonna be a 30 minute he agreed to a 30 minute over zoom so i'll have to get that set up too you know like the split screen zoom maybe like craig thomas show up here his Instagram, my, I don't know. We're going to have to get some graphics. We're winging it. We are absolutely winging it. I don't know what the hell I'm doing, but yeah, man, it's going to be fun. Even if we don't get them on, you know, we got a lot of cool local guests coming on next week as well. Uh, I did record one guest episode. I haven't released it yet. The person I recorded it with didn't want to release it. And, oh, what was that? Uh, and yeah, so I, I respected that and I did not release it. So it was fun. The video on like the, um, camcorder ended up dying like six minutes in anyway. So there was only five minutes of video and the rest was just audio. So it was kind of a shit show. Um, yeah. So if I get this guest on, I'm nervous though. I'm nervous that there's going to be some glitch. Like it's going to be this one time shot to get this big guest on and, it's not going to record or the vocals aren't going to be loud enough in his end or my end, or I'm just going to fucking freeze up and pass out. Like, I don't, I don't know what's going on. It's I'm nervous. 
I couldn't sleep all last night. I was I was DMing this guy, DMing this guy all day yesterday. And like numerous messages, probably 20, 30 messages back and forth. And I just couldn't sleep. I was thinking about it. I'm like, this is crazy. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. This is in my bedroom right now. I, you know, I got a I got a couple hokey lights. I got this cheap little camera and my old MacBook and a couple pod mics. <laughs> I might have a guest coming on. It's been on the Joe Rogan experience. And, you know, he's big on YouTube, probably like, I don't know, a million subscribers on YouTube. So, yeah, it's going to be interesting. Um, yeah, what else, guys? What else is going on? I was right about the Super Bowl. Not, not the score, but I was right. Tom Brady took it down. Um, obviously. He's the GOAT. Guys like him, they just win. So... I knew it. You knew it. Predicted here first on the podcast. I am one for one with predictions. One for one, man. How cool is that? Yeah. Um, yeah, lots of funny videos with... Uh, I know we talk about Tom Brady a lot on this, but a lot of funny videos with him and Gronk just getting hammered. Like, Brady just shit-faced at some of those uh, Super Bowl parties. You know. uh, it's good to see, man. I think he comes back next year and he won again. I honestly do. That's here's my second prediction on the podcast. I think Brady comes back next year on the Bucks and they win again. I mean, I mean, if they win again, again, he's already secured himself as the greatest. If they win again at how old is he? Fucking seventy two. If he wins his eighth Super Bowl at seventy two, get out of here. Get out of here, man. How long is this guy going to play? Like, what's his real age? He's like late 40s, right? Is this guy going to play into his 50s? 50. 50. I'm 30. I'm 30. I just turned 30. And if I took one hit, one fucking hit from one of those guys, I'd be in the hospital. It'd be over for me. I would not walk again. This guy's going to be 50, getting sacked by 300-pound 25-year-olds. It's crazy. It is so crazy. Oh, man, last night, uh, or yesterday, too, I was, I was doing a side job, doing some work for a guy, and a bunch of work, uh, you know, it was about, the job was about three grand, and finished the job, and I didn't collect payment up front from him. You know, I've done some work for the guy before, did not collect payment up front, finished the job, left. And he ghosted. He went silence, radio silence, did not transfer the money. And, you know, I was having a bit of a bad day yesterday. I'm not going to lie. It was a bit of a bad day. So I sent him some texts. I said, hey, man, I'm going to come down there and I'm going to remove what I installed. Uh, I do plumbing and gas fitting. So it was, yeah, it was a tankless hot water unit. I said, I'm going to just shut the gas off, remove it. Like, it's a, like I'm going to take this out if you don't pay me. No response, no response. Six hours went by. So, you know, I drove out there. I drove out there, shut the gas down, knocked on all the suites. I said, hey, look, I'm sorry, guys. Like, I, I got to do this. Like, I'm not getting paid. I'm going to have to remove this unit. The guy owes me three grand. Um, there's nothing I can do. And the people were like, oh, my God. Like, we're not going to have hot water. We got, there was like five little kids running around in there. I'm like, oh, God. Like, I just, it was that moment where if I wasn't having a bad day, I would have been just like, oh, fuck it. You know, I'll lose the money. Like, so these kids can shower tonight. And, but, you know, I was having a bad day. I shut the gas off and uh, I shut the gas off. And then about 20 minutes later, 20 minutes later, the guy messages me. He's like, hey, sorry, man. It was Chinese New Year's. And I was, uh, I was out with my family. Didn't have my phone on me. He's like, did you shut the gas off to our house? Yeah, it was, it was a bit of a mistake. You know, <laughs> shut the gas off to four families. And the guy was just at Chinese New Year. Chinese New Year's man, and he was out drinking, and that's why he ghosted me. So I felt a bit bad, you know. Apologized to him. He apologized to me. We made up. And, yeah, got my money. Got out of there. But, yeah, man, interesting, interesting stuff. You know, when you act on emotions, I'm an emotional dude. That's, that's something I got to work on. I've been working on that for a lot of years right now, but I'm emotional, dude. I, when I'm, when everything's smooth sailing, I think this is a lot of people, I think logically, 
okay, and I think about things, and I take some time before making decisions. But if I'm triggered in a bad way, if I'm having a bad day or something's happening that's really, you know, pissing me off or I'm really, like, sad about it, I just go into that emotional brain where my decisions are all based on emotions. And when you're making decisions based on emotions, nothing good happens. (laughs) Nothing good happens when you are making decisions based on emotions. Like, yeah, I can think of many times, many times where I've, you know, done some things that, you know, I regretted about 10 minutes later just because in that moment, I couldn't think. I was just so fucking caught up in the moment. And it's just a crazy thing how there's like different, the logical part of your brain and the emotional side, how they, it's just like a constant battle sometimes when you're trying to make a tough decision. Oh, excuse me. It's Nest tea, man. It's cool iced tea. No Fiji water today. It's giving me the burps. Giving me the burps. But yeah, man. So logical brain. When you're making decisions long-term or important decisions, you always got to think logical. That comes to anything. It comes to relationships. comes to work. comes to business. comes to friendship. Anything. It, you know... It comes to even like road rage. You're driving in traffic and, you know, this fucking guy's texting in front of you and he's swerving all over the road and, you know, it's fucking snowing out. And in your mind, you're like, you know what? I just want to, I want to rip in front of this guy and then I just want to lock the brakes up and let him smash into me. You know how many times I've had that thought where I'm just like, fuck this guy. He's not even looking at the road. He's going to hurt somebody. Or I just want to drive in front of him, lock the brakes up and let him smash into me. You know, it'd be his fault if he rear-ended me. Do you know how many times I've had that sick thought? That's the emotional side. Logical, you just say, you know what? Well, maybe the guy, something happened. Maybe he had to check his phone. Maybe, you know, something happened in his life where he needed to do that. And let's be realistic. He's probably not going to crash. And then you just slowly pass him and you give him that. You give him one of these as you drive by. Those are hilarious. Those are hilarious. That is the... That is the global standard for fuck you without saying fuck you when you're, when you're driving is when you start, someone's doing something wonky in front of you, you pull up beside them, you give them one of these as you're driving. You're driving and you give them one of these. That is the global fuck you without saying fuck you. Hilarious. Yeah. You know, when people, when, you know, lots of people, I, I've done lots of crazy shit in the road, like, and I've got lots of those looks before, but my... My go-to is just to stare right back at them. You know, if, they, if I see their heads start to turn, I just, you know, I just turn this way. It's like a game of chicken, you know? Who's going to stop looking first? They turn away and you just drive off. That's, that's the power move. You don't look straight ahead. That's the bitch move. If someone's driving by you and giving you the fucking side-eye glance, you stare them right back in the eyes. You do not break eye contact until they do. Power move. Trust me. That is a driving... That is a driving hack power move. They'll think twice to do that again, you know? Fucking side-eye glance. Hilarious, though. That is... Yeah, I mean, come on, guys. I, everyone does that shit. But yeah, man, I got the, uh, got the old fantasy football trophy in the set today. I just thought I needed something here because I got my second mic over there. and Yeah. Oh, I did not win this year in fantasy football. Did not win. Made it to the semifinals. I was a champ last year. Um, I've won, let's see if you guys can see this. Yeah, I've won two out of, two out of four years. Two out of the last four years, fantasy football champ. Uh, yeah, it's pretty interesting. I am not gambling anymore. So next year, I don't know if it's considered gambling, but next year, I know we do like a 50 or $100 buy-in. So it's like a thousand bucks kind of for the winner. And next year, I already made the announcement to the boys. I said, look, you know, I'm not gambling anymore. And I don't even know if this is gambling, but I just want to stick with it out of respect for myself and family and all that. So if I win, no, just, just think about this. I'm a, I'm a two out of four. I'm the Tom Brady of fantasy football. Okay. I am the Tom Brady of fantasy football. I win. Okay. So I told, I told the guys in the group chat, I said, if I win, I'm not taking the money. I'll still buy in just to make it so there's no monetary thing. So no gambling. If I win, the money stays with the commissioner and we just have a wrap up party, thousand dollar wrap up party. You know, I get to decide what we do with the money, but you know, 
it's going to be good. So I'm going to win next year. That's, that's my third prediction on this podcast. I will win the Fantasy Football League next year, three out of five years. I mean, I'll go down as one of the all-time greats in our league. I already am with two out of four, to be honest. But, um, yeah, I'm going to win next year, and we're going to have this crazy wrap-up party. Thousand bones. Thousand bones. Like, what can you... Thousand dollars. What can you do at a party with a thousand dollars? You can buy some liquor. I mean, we can get some. We can get some strippers. We can get some. I don't know. What else can you do? Nothing really. Thousand bucks doesn't go. Thousand bucks is not much anymore. I mean, when I was growing up, a thousand bucks. I'm like, man, if I just had a thousand dollars, a thousand dollars, I'd be set. Thousand dollars now, like. What is that going to do? Sometimes my phone bills are 500 bucks. <laughs> like, man, it's just crazy. $1,000, you can buy a TV. You can pay like five phone bills. Uh, you can pay your hydro for four months. You can pay half your rent. Like rent is insane in Victoria. Rent is so crazy in Victoria. Like I was, yeah, I was living... I was living with my ex in a bachelor, like a bachelor suite. And it was 1400 bucks for a bachelor suite. No bedroom. Like it had a sort of an opening and an area for a bedroom, but there was no door in the bedroom. $1,400. $1,400, man. Crazy. I'm, I'm trying to find a new spot right now. And, uh, oh, excuse me. I got some allergies or something this morning. Um, yeah, I'm trying to find a new spot. And... You know, I like I like a decent spot. I want a condo. I don't really want a suite. And it's crazy. It's like 1600 bucks for just anything decent a month, and that's renting. You know, I, I used to own a condo, and when I had that condo, the mortgage was $1,000. It was just a sick one-bedroom condo. The mortgage was $1,000. I sell that condo, and now I rent, and it's 1600 bucks for a place not even as nice. It's almost twice as expensive to rent as it is to own. It's wild times, and they're making mortgages harder now. You know, I got out of the, I got out of my mortgage, I sold my place, and now it's like it's hard to get back in. You know, even if you have the down payment, it's hard to get approved. You need, you need super good credit. You need X amount of time at your job. You need, I don't know, what else do you need? I don't know. It just seemed a lot easier ten years ago when I bought my place. But I could be wrong. I think I want to go in with someone. I want to go in with a buddy and buy a house. I want to renovate it up and down, you know, uh, up and down suites, like sort of turn it into not a duplex, but just like, you know, a two-family dwelling. Upstairs is one, downstairs is one. Just, you know, buy an old piece of shit and just gut it and bling it out and flip it, live in it for a year and flip it. That's really what I want to do, so... You know, I'm looking for uh, I'm looking for a buddy to do that with probably in the next year. And yeah, that'll be fun. That'll be good. But yeah, guys, um, you know, just thought I'd check in with you. This next week's going to be big. Like I said, we got big guests coming up, hopefully, tentatively, tentatively, some big guests, some big, big, big guests. Let me tell you, oh, it's going to be so sick. And I'm going to wrap this up. I'm going to go play in the snow for a bit. I hope you guys are having a great day. I hope Valentine's Day is special. If you got a special someone, if you don't, Try not to be too depressed. Life goes on. Do you. You'll find someone. Don't worry about it. Just concentrate on yourself. And you know what? I'll see you guys on the next one. There's probably going to be two or three episodes dropping next week. So stay tuned. Hit that subscribe button. Give this video a like. Give it a share on your Instagram, on your Facebook, on Snapchat, whatever you want to do. It would be much appreciated. And yeah, I'll talk to you guys real soon.